What's going on, y'all? Uh, in this video, we don't have any mail, so um, this is my IP recap to the um, signing I've been referencing the last couple of videos. I went to a UT signing the other day. It was at a local car dealership, and there was like 10 players there, so let's get into it. It was a lot of fun. I went with my brother and my dad, so um, and my dad got me a couple things, so I was really happy about that. But anyways, uh, first of all, I got this little poster, um, and this was like for autographs, but we had better stuff to get signed, so I just went ahead and picked this up. I didn't get it signed though, but anyway, that was pretty sweet. Um, this is, well, I'll save this to the end because there's actually a funny story about this, but anyways, um, I guess first we'll start with, well, this is something I was supposed to get signed. There's also a funny story behind this, but we didn't actually get this signed, but I'll talk about that in a minute. I guess I'll start with these things. Um, one of the guys had his like own little cards there. Uh, his name's Jabari Davis. And I actually got two of his signed cards. He had his own little things that he's handing out. He was signing. Uh, so these are really cool. Um, so I got two of those. So those are pretty sweet. He was really nice. Everybody there was super, super nice. Um, but anyways, uh, for, next we have this picture. They actually were handing these out. They only had like 10 or 15 of these to hand out. And me, my dad and my brother got the last two. Um, and my dad got this one signed for me and this is really awesome because it has all the players that were there A couple guys didn't show up that were supposed to be there. Um, Gerald Riggs and Anthony Wallace didn't show up, but This is a picture that's signed by ten of them. I'm gonna go through them right quick um, Right here is Jabari Davis the guy that was handing out those photos. This is Tony Robinson He was a Heisman candidate before he got hurt uh, when he was playing um, he uh, here's Jason Swain uh, he has like a podcast uh, that he does now. Here's AJ Johnson. He's the most current player on this. Uh, here's Herman Lathers, another uh, current player. Well, they're not currently playing for us, but the most current players. Um, here's Chris uh, Therese. He played for us. That was pretty cool. Jason Harrell down here. Um, he was a first-round draft pick, so that's pretty awesome. Cedric Houston, he actually played the NFL. I remember watching him in the NFL for the Jets. Um, here's DeAndre Lloyd. Uh, and let's see here, uh, Eric West, Westland Moore, um, he won a championship with us. So that's awesome. This photo is so sick. And the thing I had to talk about with this thing, it's funny because I was, I brought this for my brother to get signed cause he didn't have anything. And if you look closely, this photo is actually just zoomed in on this picture. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same shot of Neyland stadium in the background. So I think that's really cool. Um, but anyway, so that's it with that. Um, so that's a very, very nice picture there that I got signed. That was super cool. And then I guess I'll get into this next. This is the only specific item I had for anyone there. I actually had a program with Herman Lathers on it. Let me get grab this out here so I can get y'all a better shot. Uh, he signed it on in front for me. Um, he signed right there. He inscribed a Bible verse uh, and, and said, Go Vols. And yeah, it's James 112. So that's that's really sweet. This was my favorite thing I got there probably, honestly. And what's interesting about this uh, program is this is the last time uh, college game day was in Knoxville. This is the last time they were actually in Knoxville versus Florida in 2012. And uh, I have some other cool stories on that day because me and my brother uh, actually went to college game day and that was, that was really fun. So that's really cool to get this signed by him. Um, and that is not my last thing. My last thing, oh, I'll talk about this real quick. This is real funny because uh, this is a business card that AJ Johnson gave us. He was late. He was like 30 minutes late to the signing. So he, it started like 30 minutes later than it was supposed to. And the reason was is that he literally bought like uh, brought like four boxes of his personal clothing line that he was trying to sell to everybody. It was absolutely hilarious that he was just like set up his own clothing line to sell during the signing, but it's still pretty cool. Here's the information on the back. I'll give him a little plug since he, you know, gave us free autographs and it was a lot of fun meeting him. But uh, anyways, my last item is I actually decided to get my Steelers uh, football that they sent me. It's obviously not a Steelers football, it's a generic football, but um, I actually got this signed, which is super awesome. Unfortunately, the only guy I couldn't get on it was Herman Lathers because it was only one autograph per player. And I got him to sign this. Um, so I actually didn't get him on this, but everybody else is on here that I've already went over, but I'll give y'all a quick look at everything. Uh, here's Eric Westland, Westland Moore. He uh, inscribed 98 champs right there. Uh, Cedric Houston's right there. Uh, I believe that's uh, DeAndre Lloyd right there. Yeah, DeAndre Lloyd. 
Uh, here's Tony Robinson, the Heisman candidate. He actually also, uh, one other awesome thing about Tony Robinson was is that he was a replacement player back in the 1987 season when the NFL players were on strike. He was a replacement player for the Washington Redskins. Well, it turns out the Redskins ended up winning a Super Bowl championship that year, and Tony Robinson had his Super Bowl ring from that season. So we actually got to see an authentic Super Bowl ring from Tony Robinson. One of the coolest experiences I've ever had, honestly. Um, yeah, I won't go over the rest of the players, but here's all the autographs right here. It turned out beautifully on this football. Absolutely love the football. So I ended up picking up like a total of 22 autographs um, that day. So that was, that was really awesome meeting all those former players. I mean, they're not well-known NFL players, but still for me, you know, I have some great memories watching some of these guys. But anyways, y'all, that's all I have for you in this video. And I guess I'll catch y'all next time.